Hey there, my little fellers. I am here. I am back. I again. I want to fight Nameless King because he a fun boy. You know, he a fun boy. And I'm gonna fight him because I don't know. I, he's my favorite in Dark Souls Three for me. Yeah, I I I, I kind of stand with him being the best in Dark Souls Three. You can say Slave Miguel, but I just I I, just, I love this huh, this guy. I love this difficulty. I love. Yeah, I, I just love him. I just love him. Uh, first phase is kind of a stinker, though. But I'm gonna go through it fast. And again, using Moonlight Greatsword, which I probably shouldn't, like compared to everything else I have, because um, I use a strength build, and I can use like Yorm's Great Machete or Black Knight Great Axe. Or Hume Knight Fugs. I can use Fugs. I mean, sure, they nerfed it in Dawn, so it doesn't do as much damage, but the range on that thing. Holy big doggers. Awuga. <laughs> yeah, this first phase is pretty easy. Maybe not for newcomers, still, because, you know, it's really wacky and the camera is crap, but I've gotten to learn to tolerate it. But since I again fought him a bunch of times, I still think he's the hardest for me personally. Like when I first played the game, okay. yeah, when I first played the game, he was the hardest, even when I fought the deer, which is weird to think. Well, for a lot of people, a lot of people say the deer is their hard the hardest. The deer is the second, was the second hardest for me, but not the hardest. Again, the regeneration. I'm very OP. I won't. I'll be very tanky. I'll take a tank a lot of his hits, and I probably won't even use this. Very intimidating music. Fast though. His timing is also a little bit different. They changed the timing a little bit, so you'd have to get used to the new timing. So that, I, I like that. That's slow, neat. But they keep the balance. You know what weird thing with. Convergence is. I feel like the hitbox is a little bit off. A lot more forgiving when you fuck up. I don't know, but it's not fair when it comes to like, because like a lot of bosses have like insta kill moves. But I, for me, I think Nameless King is like the hardest, and I think people who are like, oh, lost his glory. I beat him in my first try. Don't you with like most playthroughs, like oh second playthrough you beat a lot of them on your first try. And it's like this guy, you he was so it's like I call it the sands effect. Like he's so hard on your first playthrough. Second playthrough was just he was so hard that you had to learn everything about him. Everything. So it's like so it's easy on your second time, so and I still consider like some of like sands uh to me the hardest boss I've ever fought so far. Because I was very young. Oh, holy shit, I actually might die here. I'm actually gonna heal. Which I didn't do in my slip with guilt fight, I don't think. I'm gonna do that. Oh shit, I didn't actually expect myself to be here. Yeah, man. I don't know. I always get so crappy when I... Bruh. Shit. Yeah, they extended that time, so it's like... Because we'd expect it to be... Oh, what a way to end it. What a way to end it. Uh, yeah, my favorite boss. Uh, I think people's reasoning, oh, it's not that hard. 
uh, bullshit. I, I don't find them valid, and I don't... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, oh, it lost his magic, the Nameless King, and it's like, isn't as powerful as people say it is. I should have kept that cutscene. But I don't believe him. I won't ever believe him, and... I love this boss. I think it's still hard, and I think it still has its charm. And when you actually do fight him, a lot of bosses on your second playthrough so much easier and you don't have to try that hard. Nameless King, you might beat him first try, you might. And even if you do, uh, it's still going to be a challenge, it'll be very, adrenaline's going to be rushing, all that. It's great. Love the fight, love, love, love the fight. I think it's like the boss, other than like Madeir, I get the most nervous for, without a doubt. I think runner-up might be uh, Sister Freed for like nervous, which I might fight next. I, I might fight her next. And Dark Souls 3, and I think you guys are going to also love that. And after her, I might just do one last fight with the Demon Prince. He's not that hard. I won't do Madeira because, I don't know, the fight takes way too long. I, I beat him first try on this play, Convergence playthrough, first try. Imagine that. <laughs> but I beat him first try, and the fight just wait, takes way too long. It's not going to be entertaining, especially not for me. I'm not going to have fun really playing it. I love Madeira as a boss. He's one of my favorites still, but just, I'm not willing to fight him again. I just, man. Man, but I will fight the uh, uh, Demon Prince again. Yeah, and Sister Freed. I'll fight Sister Freed first. Um, like her. Um, uh, they also changed Pontiff. He's a lot harder. Like him, Solo Cinder. They changed him. A lot of people probably like the new version of Solo Cinder. I don't like it that much. I hate it. They made Sorcery literally the best one. Is sad, but. Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, I'll uh, see you fellas later.